Okay. Hello. Good evening. Hello, guys. Welcome. So well. Well, today, guys, we start the last week, right? So in this week, guys, we are going to finish unit number five and the last exam, right? The last exam. And well, we finish this model, right? So you can get your certificate. So guys, let's see. Let me show you the screen, guys. So well, so far, we have already completed these two, well, all this module, right, guys? You, sorry, unit number one, two, three, four. And well, we are going to start with unit number five. However, guys, you can, you know, do it by your own. I mean, you can do it whenever you want, right? If you have time, <coughs> sorry, at home, if you have time, you know, you can do it, right? And also the exam, right? If you think that you're ready, you can go ahead and do it, right? So we receive, you know, some messages that you can, you know, advance. But if you want, you know, to continue with me, you can do it, right? You can continue, I mean, doing the exercise that whenever I explain it, right? Or you can continue ahead. However, guys, with the classes, remember that you always have to be here, right, guys, about the system. And because, you know, there are some topics, I mean, that if you don't, I mean, if you're not here practicing them, you're not going to learn English, okay, guys? Because, I mean, remember that if you are here, it's because you are learning English, right? So remember that objective that you have. So here in the class, guys, you have a better chance to learn, you know, this idiom, so you can get it. So now, guys, let's see. Let me ask you guys. Well, we are in unit number five, right? Oh, there is any exercise that you haven't finished about the previous unit? Yes, no? Something? No? Not yet? No. Okay, guys. So, well, for today, guys, let's see. We are going to start, guys. First of all, with a little exercise, okay, guys? So previous class, we were talking about, you remember, guys, past participle, right? The verbs in past participle. Remember that there are some regulars and irregulars, okay? So let's see, guys. We have this verb, and we have here possible answers. What do you think is the correct, I mean, what is the past participle of here? Here, what do you think, guys? Is hear it, heard, or hear? What do you think? B, yeah. heard. Letter B, heard. Okay. Very nice. This one. Now, this one, guys. Shine. What is the past participle of shine? Is shine, chain, or is shown? What do you think? You can help me out, guys. If you have your Google, right, your computer, your cell phone, tablet, or anything you have, help me looking for this bear, okay? What you have to do, guys, is, you know, in Google, you can play shine Shown. past participle, okay? Which one? Shown. Shown, let's see. Very nice. The past participle of shine is shown. Now, let's move on to this one, guys. Help me, okay? If you don't know the bear, guys, you can look on Google, okay? Look on the Google, so you will get... Uh, let's see. Well, right now, sorry, it looks like it's stuck, okay? So it's stuck. Se trabó, okay? Let's see. Don't worry, okay? Let's see. Okay. Well, it doesn't move. It. Let me refresh the page for you. So, guys... Ah, se lo puedo preguntar en español, chicos. Ya todos terminamos los ejercicios de la unidad 1, 2, 3 y 4, ¿verdad, chicos? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes very, teacher. Very nice. Now, let's see. I have this one, guys. What is the past participle of a speak? Help me on your Google, ¿ok? Si no saben, chicos, pueden ir en Google, ¿ok? Spoke. 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 The past part is spoken. 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 Yeah, yeah, guys. In this case, it's spoken. So, guys, let me, you know, help you with this one. Chicos, necesito, porque yo sé que muchos de ustedes no van a saber, right? Porque estamos aprendiendo esto. So, guys, let's see. 
en Google ustedes pueden poner esto, por ejemplo, speak, pass, participle, ¿ok? Es la forma, ¿verdad? Right? Ustedes lo miran y se van a dar cuenta aquí. Son, ¿cómo se dice speak in past participle? Y aquí tenemos, right? Spoken, right? So, si ustedes no saben un verbo en past participle, guys, o participio pasado, que es en español, right? Lo pueden buscar en Google, ¿ok? That's okay because there are a lot, ¿ok? A lot of verbs in past participle, right? Now, let's see this one, guys. Help me with this one. What is the past participle of heart? Tell me. A, B, or C, what do you think? B. B. Letter B. Very nice. The past participle of heart is heart. Now choose. Oh. Choose. What choose. do you think, guys? Tenemos chosen. Dos. Chosen. chosen. Okay. Chosen. chosen. Very nice. Chosen. Now tenemos build. Con D. Tenemos built in. Build. Build. O build. Again. Built in. B. Letter E. A. Letter A. Let's see. Uh oh. No, in this case, it's built. Okay. The past build. participle. Yeah. Now, guys, let's see. Well, it's stuck again. So, do not worry. Let me, you know, share you guys. I will actually compartirle the screen. Because for today, guys, remember. Today we start the last week, okay, guys? So finally we got it, right? So, ya iniciamos la última semana, right, guys? So, in this week, we have, you know, to finish everything that we have learned so far. So, guys, here we have, remember, the previous class I was, you know, talking to you about this one, okay? So, guys, in English, we have different verbs, okay? So, we have verbs in present, in past, But also we have in past participle, okay, guys, in past participle. So, guys, in this case, let's see, present, we have an example here, go, okay? We have a past the, of go is went, okay? But what is the past participle of go? It's gone, okay, gone. And here, guys, if you see, we have some, you know, some other examples. So, see, present, so, past. Seen, past participle. The verb have, present. Had, past. Past participle is the same, had. The verb eat, we have in past eight, in past participle, eaten, okay? So guys, let's see. I have here this conversation for you. Let's see, first read, and then we are going to identify, you know, the verbs that are in past participle here. So let's see, we have Jan and Todd. So it say, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about the riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, guys, first of all, let's see. Let's identify the verbs that are in past participle. Let's see, guys. Give me a verb that is in past participle here. Being. Being, perfect. And what is being? Being. Is the past participle of what? The qual verb? Be. Be. Be, verb to be, perfect. Now let's see another one, guys. Quiero probar. Okay. Don't. Don't. And what is the past participle? Of dumb. Well, what is, you know, dumb is the past participle of what? Do. 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 Perfect. Do. Another one, guys? Riden. Riden, right. Riden. Oh, and what reading. is the? Riden. And riden is the past participle of what? Ride. Ride, exactly. And what is ride in Spanish? 
like como conducir, right? Um, now, another one. Is there anything? Let's see. Uh, no, only those two, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, let me ask you, do you understand all this conversation? Is there any war or something that you don't understand here? Yes, no? Something that you don't understand, guys? Or do you understand everything here? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, perfect. So guys, now, you know, let's practice this conversation, right? With, between, you know, your classmates. Let's see, let me divide you guys in groups so you can practice, okay? Remember, try to speak, okay? Speak only in English, guys, okay, okay? Do not worry that your friends, they know, I mean, they know the same as you, right? So now, you know, let me share you. Let's you see. Let, yeah. Como dijo se pronuncia in river boat or river boat? ¿Cómo es? Uh, freedom. El, this one, rhythm. River boat, no, como, no, que está arriba, river boat. Uh, Donde dice, oh, well. Oh, well. About, ah, river boat. Uh, river boat. River boat, yeah. River boat. Yeah. ¿Y significa? Ah, uh, es como el Riverboard Tour, es como el, es un río donde se puede andar en bote, Riverboard. That's the name of the tour, es un, es un tour, ok? Riverboard means okay. ir en bote en el río, right? That one. Ok, thanks. Ok, guys, now, you know, let me open the rooms, guys, ok? So you can accept, ok? Accept invitation, ok? And let's practice. You can take a screenshot or a photo about this one, but I have already sent you you know, this one to the WhatsApp group so you can get it, right? So let's start, okay, guys? Please accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Okay, perfect. Brenda, let me assign you to a group, okay? Let's see.
Okay, welcome, welcome back. Okay, guys, now we are going, you know, to practice this one, right? So let's see. Jenny, Jenny, you're going to help me. You're going to be Jam, okay, Jam. And Omar, you're going to be Todd, okay? So let's start, okay, guys? Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in the New Orleans long? Um, Omar, are you here? Hello? Omar, um, the microphone, let's see. Okay. okay, do not worry, Omar. So let's see. Hello, Salvador. Hi. Hi, Salvador. Can you help me, please, being taught? Okay. Okay. It's great. it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in the New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, perfect. Very nice. I like it, guys. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, Jenny Salvador. So, well, guys, let's see. Well, do we understand everything here, right, guys? There is anything that you don't understand, right? Everything yes. is clear? Very nice. So, now, guys, let's move on because we have, you know, a very interesting topic. So, well, guys, for today, we have the present perfect, okay? So, guys, this topic is like to learn about the bird to be, okay? Because this topic, I mean, you're going to use that a lot, okay? It's like a daily thing, okay? So, that's why it's really, but really important, guys, for you, okay? So, guys, if you handle this, you're going to have a very good level of English, right? Because this one is very essential. So, let's see, okay, guys? So, we have the present perfect here. This is a charge, you know, that is, well, you can see it on the platform that you have, right? Because this is part of the video. So guys, first of all, what I want from you guys is to look at this picture, okay? Look at this picture and try to analyze, okay? Try to analyze and understand this, one, okay? So I'm going to give you one, well, two minutes, guys, for you to read this one and analyze, okay? Try to understand everything here. What is this about, okay? So let's see, guys. You can start reading this one and see what is this about, okay? Okay, perfect. So let's see, guys. So here, guys, we have some questions about present perfect, right? So you see this one. Have you been to a jazz club? Okay. Has she re ridden in a streetcar? Has she called home lately? Have they eaten dinner yet? If you see, guys, this verb 
there are here are in past participle, okay? Past participle. So guys, for the present perfect, we are going to use past participle, okay? Those the only, well, one of the time that you're going to use this one, okay? So guys, let's see. We have here some construction, okay? So we have I've, which means I have, okay? You've, you have. So guys, in your house, okay? In your house with the microphone off, I want you to pronounce this one, okay? So repeat, guys. I've, I've, okay? I've, como que pronunciara, bueno, pronunciamos el I y una F, como una F, I've, okay? I've. 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 Exactly. I've. I've. Now, guys, lo mismo con I've. esta, right? I've. Vamos a pronunciar you, pero con una F, you've, you've. You. 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 Perfect. So guys, I've. decir I've es lo mismo que decir I have, okay? Solo que es una forma más contractada, okay? Contraction, okay? So if you want to sound, you know, like more native, you can say I've, right? And we have as well for he has, his, hmm. she has, she's, okay? It's the same one, okay? Now, guys. For you know, we have a number of contractions here, mm -hmm. okay. So, in forma negativa, tenemos haven't, que significa have not, hasn't, has not. So, guys, I hope you have you know reading this one and understood because now, guys, let me move on, okay. Let me move on. I'm going to share you guys a presentation that I have here for you about you know, present perfect, right? So, we are going to understand it better. So guys, we have here, you know, present perfect tense, right? So, well, we have this one, when to use it, right? So it say, we use the present perfect tense to talk about experiences, okay? It is important if we have done it in our lives or not. It is not important when we did it. So guys, present perfect, we are going to use it to talk about experiences, okay? Vamos a utilizarlo para hablar de experiencias, okay? Experiencias que iniciaron el pasado, right? Cosas del pasado que también están aún en el presente, right? So, for example, guys, I have been, que significa I've been abroad two times. So, abroad, guys, means like fuera del país, right? Abroad, es como travel, okay? Abroad two times, okay? I have been abroad two times. Tenemos este example. Ana has never broken a leg. Ana nunca se ha quebrado una pierna. Okay? So, y tenemos this one. In interrogative. Have you ever eaten sushi? ¿Alguna vez has comido sushi? Have you ever? Okay, alguna vez. Have you ever? Okay, and here we have a tip, guys. So we often use never and ever with the present perfect, okay, to talk about experience. Utilizamos el never, chicos, y el ever con el present perfect, okay, para hablar de experiencia. Now let's see. We also use the present perfect to talk about an action which started in the past and continues up to now. So lo ocupamos para hablar de una acción que, que inició en el pasado, chicos. Y que aún sigue, ¿ok? For example, I have been a teacher for more than 10 years. He sido un profesor por más de 10 años, ¿ok? Algo que inició en el pasado, right? Y que todavía lo sigue siendo. So that's when we use it, ¿ok? And we have here some other examples, right? Y tenemos este tip, ¿ok? So... We often use since and for to say how long the action has lasted, okay? Ocupamos since and for, guys, okay? Para decir cuánto dura una acción. Por ejemplo, we haven't seen Janie since Friday. No hemos visto a Janie desde el viernes, okay? Desde el viernes. How long, remember guys, how long, right? How long have you been at this school? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado en esta escuela? Okay. Now, guys, let's see. And we have, you know, this one, but let's move on, okay? So, guys, 
how to form the present perfect tense, okay? So, aquí es como lo vamos a formar, okay? So, let me, you know, this one I'm going to share you in the PowerPoint presentation, right? How, como formar el present perfect, right? Let's see. I have it here. So, guys, we have, as well as the other ones, tenemos varias formas okay, de formarlo. Okay, tenemos la afirmativa, negativa e interrogativa. Para la afirmativa, chicos, para formar el present perfect, vamos a utilizar primero el sujeto, plus, have, o has, ok, dependiendo del sujeto, right? Have or has. Plus, ver in past participle, ok? El verbo in past participle. Participle, sorry, my computer. Y the complement, right? Complement. So let's see, let's have an example, guys. Sujeto, give me a subject, guys. It can be I, you, he, she, Peter, Brenda, okay, whoever. Mm -hmm. A subject, guys? She. She, okay, she. So guys, for she, we are going to use have or has? Has. Has, has exactly. So she has. Y luego un verbo en past parts. But let's see. She has... Um, Soon. Gonna... Which one? Soon. 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 Uh, How do you spell? S-U-N. S-U-N-G. N-G. Ah, song. Ah, yeah. So she has some, okay, ella ha cantado. Uh, she has some, let's see, um, since 2021, right? Ella ha cantado desde, sin significa desde, okay? Since 2021, okay? Ella ha cantado desde el 2021, you see? Now let's see this, another one, okay? Sujeto, let's see, I. So for I, we are going to use have or has, guys. Have, yes. right? No, have. Um, have, have um, right? Have. I have, ahora vamos a decir, el past participle de study. What is the past participle of study, guys? Study. Study, perfect. So I have a study yet. At the university. Okay, he estudiado en la universidad. You see, this is the complement. So this is the way we make it. Okay, guys. Now let's see. In negative, guys. So in negative is very easy, right? So in negative, first if the subject, okay? Plus have or has, okay? Plus not. Okay, not. Plus you know, verb in past participle, okay? The same one, and the complement. So guys, for example, we can say, uh, hagamos el mismo ejemplo, okay? I've, okay? En este caso, podemos decir have not or haven't, right? Que es la forma contractada. I haven't, verb in past participle, sorry, past participle. I haven't, um uh, <laughs> let's see play what is the past participle of play 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 let's see since 2020 okay no he jugado soccer pongamos no he jugado soccer desde el 2020 okay i haven't played soccer since 2020 okay got it guys yes now, very nice. Now, let's see. Interrogative, guys. So, as you saw, como vimos en la eh, imagen anterior, primero va a have or has, dependiendo, right? Del sujeto. So, después va el sujeto. Verb, past participle. Okay. Más el complement. Más el signo de interrogación. Okay, question mark. So, for example, have you, okay, have mm -hmm. you, um, been um, in, let's see, 
in Europe? Okay. You see, have you been in Europe? We can also say have has she, okay, que es lo mismo, has she been in Europe? Okay. So like this for guys. Okay. Do we have any questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Yes, no. Okay. No. Very nice. Okay, so then let's continue. Let's see here, okay? So guys, remember, this is very important, right? If we are learning, guys, remember that we have to pay attention. So if you see here, we have for I, have, or I've, okay? And the complement. You, have, or you've, okay? He has or his, right? Like this one. And negative form as well, we have it here. You see? Question, as we have seen, right? Have I ever done it before? Now, guys, also remember that we can add these kind of questions, right? Mm -hmm. So what have I done? ¿Qué he hecho? Okay, ¿Qué he hecho? What have I done? How long, remember, guys, how long have you been here? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado aquí? How long have you been here? How many times has he been married? ¿Cuántas veces ha estado él casado? Okay, like this one. You see? Now, guys, we have this one that is very important, okay? Already and yet. Okay, cuando utilizamos estos, okay? So already means that something happened earlier than we expect, right? With present perfect, already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb, okay? So already, guys, lo vamos a utilizar cuando algo ha pasado recientemente, okay? Y va a ir después del have or has, okay? So for example, we've already had our breakfast. El already y el yet significan como el ya, okay? Como el ya en español, el ya, okay? For example, we have already had our breakfast. Ya tomamos nuestro eh, desayuno, right? O hemos tomado ya nuestro desayuno, okay? And we have this one. Do you want a copy? No, thanks. I have already had one. So we have this one. And yet, guys, yet, well, already recordemos que va a ir después del have, okay? Después del have. Y yet. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened, okay? We usually put it at the end of the sentence, okay? So already, va después del have, pero yet va a ir usualmente siempre al final, okay? So, por ejemplo, has the post arrived yet? Okay. Hay, el post ha llegado, ya ha llegado, es como ya ha llegado. O... Haven't you got ready yet? Aún no estás lista. Okay. Aún no estás lista. Okay. Like this one. So let's see. For you to don't make, you know, very confused, guys, let me show you something. Okay. Let's see. I guess I have it here. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Let me share you. I have here another, you know, page. So probably you will understand better. Okay. So, guys, for the present perfect, guys, nosotros vamos a utilizar estos enunciados, okay? Vamos a utilizar ever, never, already, yet, y just. ¿Qué significa ever? Alguna vez, never, nunca, already, ya, yet significa ya o aún, y just, apenas o acabar de, okay? So, por ejemplo, guys, ever. Dice que se usan preguntas, ¿ok? Después del sujeto. So, por ejemplo, chicos, tenemos Have you ever been to Brazil? ¿Alguna vez has estado en Brasil? Okay. Have you ever? Have you ever ridden a camel? ¿Alguna vez has montado un camello? Ok. Like this. One. Now, never, guys. Never significa nunca, ¿ok? Y se usa para oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? ¿Por qué, guys? Porque never significa nunca. Por eso es que va a ir en oraciones afirmativas. Y va después de have. Por ejemplo, guys. 
I have never seen that movie. Nunca he visto esa película. I have never, okay? Después del have. He has never drunk tequila. Él nunca ha bebido tequila, okay? Y tenemos already. Already, guys, significa ya, right? Y va siempre en oraciones afirmativas, okay? Por ejemplo, we have already bought the book. Ya le he comprado el libro, o ya compré el libro, right? They have already booked that hotel. Ya he reservado el hotel o ya reservé el hotel, okay? Do we have any question so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahorita? Yes, no? Everything is clear? Okay, so guys, tenemos el yet. Teacher. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, en es, aquí en we have already, si, si le quitáramos el already y solo dejáramos we have both, sería yo he comprado, digamos. Yo he comprado el libro, exactamente. Pero, sí, ready, pero con el already o sea, es como el énfasis de que ya lo compré. Exactamente. Lo he yeah, exactamente. Already es como algo como recientemente que ya pasó. Right? Es como, como, por ejemplo, ya he comprado. Por ejemplo, si dice we have already bought the book, ya he comprado. Si le compramos, si le quitamos el already, diría he comprado, ¿ok? He comprado. Por eso es que el already es como ya, ¿right? Como ya. ¿Ok? Okay. Very, okay, thanks. Very nice. Now let's see yet. Para yet, guys, tiene dos significados. Significa aún, que es para negativo, y ya para interrogativo. So, lo ocupamos en oraciones negativas, right? Y también en preguntas. Por ejemplo, guys, she hasn't finished the homework yet. Ella aún no ha terminado la tarea. ¿Se dan cuenta? Negativo, right? Ella aún que okay, yet significa aún, y siempre va a ir al final. You haven't driven your brand new car yet. Ustedes aún no han conducido su nuevo auto. ¿Sí? En oraciones, y esto es para cuando hacemos preguntas, chicos, el yet significa ya. Y let's see. Have you written the report yet? Ya has escrito el reporte. Ya has escrito, ¿ok? Has she arrived yet? Él ya ha llegado o él ya llegó. Okay. Y por último, guys, tenemos jazz, que significa apenas o acabar de. Y se usa para mostrar que una acción terminó hace unos pocos instantes o minutos. Ejemplo, I have just called her. La acabo de llamar. Okay. I have just called her. They have just announced the nominees. Acaban de anunciar los nominados. Okay. So let's see, guys. Do we have any questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Yes, no. So guys, let me share you. Déjenme compartirles en el chat box este link, ¿ok? So ustedes lo pueden copiar, right? Y tener ahí por cualquier otra duda, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Let me move on, guys. Let's see. I'm going to share you an exercise right now. Let's see if we have, you know, Everything clear. So guys, according to we have seen, con lo que hemos visto, ¿cuál creen que sería la correcta aquí? A, B, or C? A. A, perfect. Because we have have, subject, and very past participle. Nice. Now this one, guys. I have seen the restaurant. Okay, he visto el restaurante, but... I haven't there. Eat, ate, or eaten. Mm -hmm. sí. Leather? A, B, or C? Eaten. Eaten. Perfect. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, guys. Now is your turn, okay? Es su turno. Les voy a compartir este chat. Okay, este, sorry, este link. In the chat, okay? So, guys, you can do it, okay? Now by your own. And at the end, you have to send me the results, okay? Vamos a ver si podemos realizarlo, okay? So, guys, you have already have it, so you can start doing, okay? Pueden iniciar haciéndolo, okay? And at the end, you have to send me the screenshot or photo, right? Anything, you know, with the score. 
a link just done in chat box, okay, the Zoom, so you can get it. And if you have any question, let me know. Let me also share you to the WhatsApp group, okay? Let's see. Okay, so in the WhatsApp group, you also have it, so you can access, right? And when you finish, please send the results, okay? Vamos a ver qué tanto hemos aprendido, let's see. Okay, if you don't know any verb, guys, remember, you can look for the verb in Google, right? Or in any, you know, place that you want, you can, you can add, for example, be past participle, go past participle, okay? Like that. Okay, and I have here some scores, mm -hmm. Anna, very nice. Jenny, congrats, perfect. So, very nice, guys, we are getting so let's wait a couple of minutes for the rest. Okay, very nice guys. So I, I have received them. Perfect, so it means that we are getting guys. Now, you know, let's move on guys. I have here something different for you. So guys, we have, you know, to fill this exercise that I have here, okay, for the ones that have finished, I have this exercise, okay? So we have to add have or has, okay, or has and or have, and depending of the sentence. So we have this one, I, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So first of all, guys, let's see. For I, what do I have to add? Que tengo que agregar? Have or has? Have. Have. Have, perfect. So in this case, me dice que tengo que agregar not busy. ¿Cómo sería entonces, guys, aquí? ¿Qué debería ha agregar? Haven't. Haven't. Very nice. It's haven't or have not, right? Haven't. Y visit. What is the past participle of visit? Visit. Visited. Visited. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Perfect. Now this one. Alison in a helicopter over the city of London. Me dice not fly. Primero, Alison sería have or has? Has. Has. Y como es negative, sería? Has. Hasn't. O has not, hasn't. right? Hasn't. Y ahora el verbo fly. ¿Cuál es el past participle of fly, guys? No. Flown. Very nice. So you have to look mm -hmm. on the internet, right, guys? In the internet, you have to look at, right? Now we have this one. They in a hot air balloon, but they didn't like it. Y tenemos travel. Primero, they. They sería. Okay. Have. Have. Traveled. Very nice. Traveled. It's have. Had. Have, sorry. It's have, right? Porque es they, right? Have. Alison was has, right? En este caso, porque era negativo. Now let's see. You. You, all the K, including my slice. Eat. ¿Cómo sería, chicos? You. Eating. You have. You have. You have. Eating. Have. Eating. Perfect. Now I a list of all the sites to see in our trip. Make. What sería, chicos? I. I have made. I have made. But made is the correct one, guys. That's the past participle of make. What is the past participle, guys? It's 
correct. It's correct, right? Now let's see. Yeah. Nicolas, what do you think, guys? Have or has? Has. 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 Both. Both. Very nice. So you see, guys? Now, let me ask you, do we have any question about this one? Tenemos alguna pregunta? Acerca de esto? Is anyone that is, que está algo, eh, hay alguien que está confundido de esto, que todavía no entiende? Yes, no. No. no según lo que he dicho, según lo que he entendido, uh -huh. según lo que he entendido es que how nada más va en I, you, we, they, he has, and she, he, it. Exactly, yeah, ¿Sí? exactly. Uh -huh. Of course. Okay. Perfect. Bien. Now, guys, let's see. Let's move on. I have here this part, okay? So this one says complete the sentence using the words in the box, okay? So tenemos how, for, since, ever, never, just, already, and yet. So guys, let me show you something, okay? Uh, this one. So guys, aquí tenemos una time expression for present perfect, okay? Last time expression. So tenemos for, since, just, already, yet, still, ever, and never, okay? Let me make it this short, okay? So guys, let's see, tenemos for. For, dice que indica la duración de tiempo, okay? Se puede utilizar en oraciones positivas, negativas, o preguntas. Por ejemplo, I have lived in Madrid for two years. He vivido en Madrid por o durante dos años, okay? Ustedes pueden decir también, I have worked, he trabajado in this company for three years, for tres años, right? So four, okay? Indica duración de tiempo. Tenemos since, ¿se acuerdan? Since. Dice que indica el momento en que comenzó una acción y significa desde. Lo podemos utilizar tanto en relaciones positivas, negativas y pregunta. Por ejemplo, I have lived in Madrid since 2016. He vivido en Madrid desde 2016. Okay, so foreign scenes, guys, okay, van casi de la mano, right? But we don't have to make confused. So now, let me ask you something. Do we have any question about esto? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de estos dos hasta ahorita? Yes, no? No? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So now, you know, let me show you here something extra. Let's see here about for and since, okay? So this eh, que we use, you know, for the present perfect thing, okay? So we use for with a period of time. For example, guys, a few days, half an hour, two years, okay? Para estos ejemplos, podemos utilizar for, okay? Y since, this eh, que with the time when the action start, cuando inició una acción, por ejemplo, Last year, June 8, I made you, right? Mm -hmm. And here's some example. I have had, he tenido, this computer, esta computadora, for about a year, por, digamos, un año, okay? How long have you been at this school? I haven't seen Julia since September, desde September, okay? So... Okay, guys, don't make confused when to use Sims and for, okay? Now, let's see. Uh, let me share you now the screen. We were in this part, right? So as I mentioned, guys, this topic is very long, right? So tenemos just, guys, recuerden, que eran para acciones acabadas, right? Already, también ya lo vimos, yet. Still, guys, dice que son acciones esperadas que aún no han ocurrido. Still significa todavía, ¿ok? Y dice que lo utilizamos en oraciones negativas. Por ejemplo, They still haven't cleaned the room. Ellos todavía no han limpiado la habitación, ¿verdad? Right? Si se dan cuenta, still va antes del have, ¿ok? Va antes, ¿ok? Ever, ya sabemos qué significa, right? Never. Now, guys, let's move on to this part. So... 
Hagamos este ejercicio, chicos, ¿ok? So this one, let's see. Tenemos how long have you been at the party? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado en la fiesta? Now this one, guys. ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta? Have you been to a firework display? Ever. Have you ever, exactly. Porque ever es para preguntas. Have you ever? Now this one. I love to go to the Notting Hill Carnival this summer. I've been to that part of London before. Oh. What can guys? I've never. I've never exactly. Nunca he estado en esa parte de Londres antes. Very nice. Now this one. They've celebrated May Day hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Since or for? Since. Since. Mm, in this case, oh. for. For. Oh. oh, I can move it. So let's see. Okay, so we have already used this one, right? How? We have already used ever. Mm -hmm. Ever. Perfect. In never. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, guys. Tenemos esta. Mm -hmm. Bonfire oh. night has been celebrated. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy to blow out Parliament. Mm -hmm. Since, since exactly. Now this one, we've or we have come back from the carnival. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have just. We have just okay. We have just okay. Have you eaten your pound cake? ¿Cuál sería este? ¿Already o yet? Yet. Yet. yet? yet. Porque yet va al final. Ahí se dan cuenta aquí termina la pregunta. I don't want to see the fin. I, I've already yeah. seen it. Right? So, very nice. Now, let's see, guys. Uh, well, <laughs> let me move on. I have here something for you, okay? So, let's see. Let's make this one, okay, guys? So guys, let's see. What do you think is the correct one here? Has you ever seen? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. Why is letter B? Por qué es letter B, guys? I need an explanation. Well, how? Porque el verbo no es seen. Exactly. Because we have have and. Ocupamos have porque era you, ¿verdad? Y tenemos, uh, let's see, I'm going to mute. Y tenemos el verbo en past participle, seen, right? What is, seeing is the past participle of what? See. The see, exactly. So, we have seen. Now this one, guys. I do imaginary friends several times. Primero, I. Recordemos, por I, ¿qué vamos a ocupar? Have. 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 Y ahora, después del have, va el past participle. So, en este caso... Spoken. Spoken. Spoken, spoken is the past participle of... Speak. 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 Exactly. Very nice. Now, let's see. What about this one? We... Our bikes in the mountains walks. Mm -hmm. We ride, ride We have ridden. ridden. We have ridden. Perfect. Very nice. Ridden. Yeah, correct. Now this one. He. What do you think? Guys? Has. We has. He has. Has. So. He has that. Very nice. So. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Now, what about this one? What else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tenemos aquí, right? What else? Has, 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 has
He don't. Um, Perfect. Was. Okay. Very nice, guys. So we got it. So now, oh, sorry. Let me share. Well, guys, do we have any questions so far? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Yes, no? A little bit. Guys, remember, this topic is very important, right, for us to learn. So now let's see. Uh, let me, guys, share you. I have here the platform, right? So, guys, in the platform, if you look, sorry, if you look at unit number five, we have an exercise, right? We have, let me see. Let me open for you, starting. So, guys, remember, we have to finish this unit, you know, you can finish either Wednesday or Thursday, okay? Thursday is the last, but the last day, okay? Chicos, la plataforma ya debe, o sea, esta unidad ya debe estar terminada más tardar el jueves, okay? El jueves, ¿por qué? Porque después del jueves, chicos, eh, van de vacaciones, okay? Después del jueves van de vacaciones y si ustedes no lo terminan, no van a poder pasar, ok, el módulo. So, por eso tenemos que terminarlo, ok. Now, chicos, tenemos este ejercicio, si se dan cuenta, que está en la unit number five, ok. Probablemente algunos de ustedes ya lo terminaron y otros tal vez no, right. So, let's see, con lo que hemos visto, chicos, ¿cuál crees que sería la correcta aquí? Letter A. You must exercise this week. Y dice que es el verbo do. Have you done? Have you done much exercise? Has hecho mucho ejercicio esta semana? Okay. Now this one. Yes, I already do aerobic class for time. Y me dice B. ¿Cuál creen que es la correcta? Yes. I have been. I have already been. Perfect. Now, uh, there is someone that is making noise. Uh, let's see, Sandra, I guess it's you. Sorry. Um, well, let's see this one. You, any sport this month, play. ¿Cuál creen que es, chicos? Have you played? Have you played? Have you played? Very nice. No, Sorry, I. Teacher. It's okay, Sandra. No, I. The time. I think we have. I haven't. Haven't have. Haven't have. have. This one. Yes. What is the past participle of have, have chicos? Have. Having have. 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 Yeah. So be careful, mm -hmm. okay. Haven't mm -hmm. es aparte, ok? Had ya sería el verbo, right? Now let's see. How many movies you this month? Y tenemos sí. ¿Cuál sería? Have, have seen. Have seen. Have seen. How many movies have, have seen. you seen? Very nice. Have seen. Actually, I any yet. Y tenemos sí. We haven't Oh. Haven't seen. Haven't, Haven't seen. seen. Haven't seen. Perfect. Now this one. You to any interesting parties recently? What do you think? Have been. Have been. Have been. been. And we have this one. No, I to any parties for a quite a while, and I have a go. I haven't gone. I haven't, I haven't gone. Haven't gone. Very nice. Okay. And then, well, you have this rest. Okay, guys. So we have already almost finished this one. So, guys, you can. <laughs> yeah. So you can finish. Okay, guys, at home, this one. Okay. So if you haven't finished, you can advance if you want. So, guys, tomorrow, you know, we are going, you know, to see some questions. We are going to practice. Okay. Tomorrow will be for a speaking. Okay. About present perfect. So, if you can review the links of the class, that will be really great, okay? So, guys, well, that's all for tonight, okay? So, I expect to see you tomorrow, okay? So, tomorrow, let's see you. We'll see you. Thank you. Tomorrow, Good afternoon. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night.